what's your favorite Oilers moment? What do you when you think about your Houston Oilers career? You know, when I when I first came here, we were a, a two and fourteen team when I came in. It was a, a matter of building the football team, right? And we finally got to the point where we got to the playoffs and we won that first playoff game. I, I think it was against uh, Seattle, believe it or not, in the Astrodome. So that was a huge moment because we went through some lean years to get finally to the playoffs and win that first playoff game. That was something these people had waited for a long time because there had been some really, really lean years prior to me getting there and then the first couple of years I was here. Did you ever try on Bum Phillips' hat? No. <laughs> no, but Come Bum on. was a really good friend of mine. Uh, I really loved the man. He was he was part. I had a TV show at that time when I was in town, and he had a segment on the show. Come so, on now. So I saw him every week. The Warren Moon Show. Yes, it was. With a segment with Bum Phillips? Yes, yes, yes we did. That's got to live on YouTube somewhere, <laughs> right? You got to find you, that. I'm sure you can on find it. it. And what was what were those segments? Like, were you were the host of it, and just Q and A with your coach? Me or? and Gifford Nielsen were the host okay. and co-host, and yeah. then uh, Bum had a segment where he came in and talked about the different things that went on throughout the league that week. Right. And then I noticed you just didn't even respond to Jerry Glanville's name being mentioned. No. <laughs> <laughs> Great X and O coach, but uh, a little bit too much into himself. <laughs> not for long. Right? So there will not be a ticket left for Elvis here at Super Bowl 51. Well, I, in other I words. hope not. <laughs> <laughs> the Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.